JD Aliens, welcome back. Man, I just spent like the last, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes setting up this Vankio V530 projector. And spoiler alert, I think it's actually pretty good and worth having if you're looking for something like this. So uh, where do we start, man? I had to rearrange my whole studio setup here because it's a little bit further throw projector than the last one I did. Uh, as far as throw distance, you can look online at the specs. But I will tell you, as far as footsteps go, this is a 100 inch screen. And let's just see how many steps I am away. So I got a big ass foot and it's about, I don't know, 11, 12 inches long. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 feet or, or 13 steps rather for a 100 inch projection. So it's still short throw. It's just not as short of throw as some of the other projectors I've done. Now, the one big thing that turns me off on projectors when I actually do projectors is the fan noise. This fan is, if you are familiar with the Van Keo series of projectors, uh, the, my favorite one that I actually use at my house is the Van Keo 6, a Performance V6 20 i believe it is yeah <laughs> that's the most quietest one I, I think i found it's i think it's a performance v620 this one is on that level i like it it's it's really quiet right now it's eye level but if it was overhead i wouldn't be able to hear it that much at all and i can really appreciate that because you know at 13 feet away you're probably sitting right under this thing once you put it up in your house or you might even be putting it on a coffee table or something like that so the fact that you can still hear everything without being annoyed by this fan, that's gonna be pretty awesome. The next thing I'm really impressed with is the speaker setup. The speakers are loud and clear. Now I'm sitting here watching, I see it in the mirror there, okay? <laughs> I'm sitting here watching my man Tavarish on YouTube, wirelessly on my phone. We'll talk about that in a second, but um, let me see, how do I, yeah, okay. So let me rewind this a little bit and then I'll turn it up. You can use the remote, the included remote that it comes with. Uh, to adjust your volume so you can do that from the front or the rear i'll do it from the front basically everything was done through this screen in the middle and it was good yeah no, the opposite of that so what you got with the system was a very clunky and very slow experience and everything was done through okay this so that was at 50 percent. i did start to hear a little bit of distortion in his voice uh, but 50% is actually rather loud, if you ask me. Uh, I was getting plenty of volume from this thing at about 25 or 30%. So in my opinion, the speakers are good. I don't think you need to turn it up past, I don't know, maybe 40. 50 is actually pretty loud. 100%, that's just stupid. Don't, don't do that. Now, it does have an automatic keystone somewhat, somewhat. It's not a full automatic keystone, but I want to walk you through some of the stuff on the menu so you can see how it works here. Now, we will get into picture quality stuff in just a moment, but I want to show you how this keystone kind of stuff works. So if we go ahead with the included remote, we'll hit this. Uh, there's actually a dedicated button for it. So we hit that dedicated button. We'll go down to calibration. You see, I have it. Uh, it's auto adjust. They don't call it automatic keystone, but they call it auto adjust. So we'll turn it on. It's not going to do anything because it's already semi-perfect. I've set it myself, but I don't know if you saw that, but it did budge just a little bit. And now if you can look over to the left, it's a little bit off. So let's turn it back off and see if it'll kind of adjust itself. Okay, that horizontal or that vertical did not go back. So let's go up to the vertical and we will bring it back to one. No, let's, let's put it at... Yeah, one, there we go. Yeah, I like one, okay? And then you can do your horizontal calibration and rotation stuff like that as well. I just did it manually because uh, the, the automatic is okay, but if you wanna fine tune this thing and get it just where you need it, because uh, you know I got, I'm, I got this thing set up on a tripod and I got a mobile screen here. I felt like I was really challenging the automatic keystone, so I just decided to do it manually so we got everything squared up uh pun intended and let's go back let's go back since we're in the menu already let's go in here and look at some stuff you got your picture mode your color temperature aspect ratio noise reduction projection direction and then hdmi mode and you can also i have the screen at 100 percent, but you can reduce it all the way down to 50 i believe let's go to 50 and see what that looks like one thing I don't like is that you can't do it 
in real time. Once you hit that button, it pauses for a second, it goes blanks, and then it changes. So that could be improved maybe with a software update or something like that, or maybe around 90. That way we could have some room for uh, fine adjustments there. All right, let's go back into menu to see if we missed anything. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so there's some stuff you can do. You got your sound modes and stuff like that. I'm not gonna mess with this because I like the way it sounds and reset and blue screen and key sonar, all that good stuff. Now, a key feature in this, this is a 1080p projector and it does have wireless capability, but not necessarily wireless streaming capability from something like, you know, like uh, Netflix or something. It doesn't have like Android built in, but it will mirror cast from your phone, whether you have an, uh, an Android phone or an iOS uh, device. So what I'm doing right now, let me go ahead and get in your way. <laughs> I'll get in your way. You see right now I am streaming YouTube. This is Tavarish and he is showing us this raggedy BMW he bought. Now you can see right here, I am actually doing this on my phone. Let me skip forward a little bit. And yeah, this is all being done wireless. And you know what? I don't, I don't see any lag. Uh, there was some at first as it was calibrating itself, I guess. There was some, some audio glitches and stuff, but I'm not getting any lag from this thing as far as what we're seeing right now. It, you know, that initial, you know, setup, you, you might have some lag or some audio dropouts, but it's gonna correct itself almost instantaneously. And then you're gonna have a great viewing experience. So I'm streaming this from YouTube directly. Now you can do this with any iOS or Android device supporting Miracast technology or, you know, the screen sharing or the screen, is it screen casting technology? You can do this with any of those devices. And it's fairly easy to set up. Matter of fact, let me show you how to do this real quick because I did have some trouble. Now, if you go into your, um, your input, you can go into screen mirroring. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm mirroring. So let me, let me just stop it real quick. I'll just stop it. How do I get, ah, there we go. Okay, I'll stop that. And let's get out of the screen mirroring. Okay, so we have turned off Wi-Fi. What we have here is we're waiting for a connection. When you initially turn this thing on, it is going to say, so if you're an Android user like myself, it by default, this iOS screen is going to come up, okay? And if you think, okay, it doesn't connect to Android. I had to go to the instructions and it says, hey, hit the OK button, hit it and it will flip over to the uh, Android side of it. So don't do what I did thinking it was only going to be for iOS devices. I was a little upset. I read the instructions and yes, it is for Android as well. All right, so let's go ahead and, and continue to play his video as we talk about some other stuff such as screen resolution and color reproduction. In my opinion, at this price point, you're doing extremely well. Nothing seems to be lagging. Everything seems to be very, very clear. I don't see any pixelation from where I'm sitting behind the projector, by the way. Uh, I'm probably about 14 feet away from this screen and about one or two feet away from this projector in the back. And everything is looking good to me. I don't see any pixelation. Now the color reproduction, that's kind of going to be up to you because you can adjust it. But what I'm seeing right here, it doesn't look overly saturated. Okay, maybe slightly, slightly overly saturated. But it's nothing that's a real turnoff. I haven't felt the need to actually adjust anything. I'm, I'm okay with what I'm seeing right here. And we're talking about a $200 to $250 price point for a uh, uh, kind of a portable projector, if you will, because I have this thing on a tripod. So you can set it up on, at your house if you want to as a permanent. This would be a good solution, especially with the noise, uh, the, the lack of noise. I think you're going to have a good time watching this thing. It's got a lot of utility here, too. I'm looking at two HDMI ports, a USB port, an AVN, and a headphone jack, and a memory card slot. So if you wanna take this thing camping or set it up as a permanent solution in your house or take it to the office, you got all the ports you need, man. Now, before I go, I want to bring to your attention that this is a moderately lit room. You can see I got the lights over there over to the right, and we have a series of windows over here to the left, which is letting in a lot of sunlight, even though the blinds are closed. So what I'm gonna do now is, hey Google, turn the couch lights off. So the couch lights are off but I still have these windows open and you can see how much better and more crisp the, 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 the picture got. I mean, we're talking about a mildly lit room, 
that was casting that kind of in the this projector was casting that kind of image i'm very impressed man this is a great bright picture i think you're really going to be able to use this thing in a in an office environment and even watch it in the daytime provided you you know at least close your mini blinds or your curtains or something like that i wouldn't suggest you know direct sunlight hitting your screen but, but yeah man this is going to be a great solution for you to watch whatever content you want to watch however you want to watch it whether it be outdoors you know you got to run that extension cord or in your house or in an office setting either way i'm no expert in this kind of stuff but what i do know is i kind of like this projector man this is good right here if i wasn't using that v620 uh, this one would definitely go up in my house because it is very quiet. It projects 100 to even 120 inch in image. It looks great. And yeah, so y'all go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to put my place back together <laughs> and go make some more videos. But until I see you again, make sure y'all keep being good to each other. And I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it be the ones closest to you. I see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?